more attracted to that in the recruiting process, and they're like, this guy's gonna get it done. We're underway from Bowling Green, and taking it out is Cray, and Cray makes a nice move, gets to the outside, he's at the 20, 25, and has knocked off his feet around the 30, an excellent return that. First and 10, we get our first look at Drew Eccles. Eccles looks to throw on first down. He's got Lucky Jackson wide open. What a start for Western Kentucky as the Hilltoppers score on the first play of the game. Empty set for Ferguson. Hilltoppers with a blitz. It's intercepted by Key, and Key has one man to beat. A nice cut move. Edwards can't get him. Key takes it all the way. A pick six for Devin Key. What a start for Western Kentucky. One for three so far tonight. Scans the field, now in trouble, and down he goes. The first sack of the night. That's Jeremy Darwin, the sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee, in his second sack on the season. 0 for 1 already tonight on third down. And this time they play conservative, a handoff to Jefferson, and Jefferson not a lot of room there at all off that right side. Hilltoppers start this drive with a one-yard run by DeAndre Furby. Now Eccles drops back to throw over the middle, and it's caught for first down in main territory by the tight end. Myquan Dean. Yeah, they're going to move Hart back into the middle of the field as a deep safety. Back on the ground of Furby. Furby with a nice run. Furby lowers his head, rumbles his way to the 21. And one thing to keep in mind on, it is absolutely pouring on the field now. The rain held off all the way up until kickoff as Eccles, all the time in the world, Eccles again wide open. Touchdown number two for Lucky Jackson. 20-0 Western Kentucky. It's a 32-yard strike. Hand off to Jefferson. Jefferson with room and plows his way across the 25, stopped at the 27. Second and two, back on the ground of Jefferson. A lot of room off that right side. Jefferson in Western Kentucky territory finally stopped at the 42. Just as soon as Maine changes at the line of scrimmage, Western's gonna bring up another side person in the box here and look at right here. Jefferson stays on his feet though. He lunges yeah, forward and this will there. depend on the spot. They had a first down at that case. Maine did not go up forward on fourth down a week ago. They're gonna throw forward here and a first down run by Ferguson. A heads up play by the sophomore quarterback. Picks it up with his feet stopped by Ben Holt. Beckles is sitting on the Western bench. He's been fantastic here first quarter. On second and 15, Ferguson in trouble and takes a hit. Down he goes at the 40. And he has added some elements to his game. Ferguson over the middle and a vicious hit on Devin Young at the 35. That's Eli Brown, the Kentucky transfer, making his presence felt. And get about four, four and a half, maybe five on first down. Once again, in any offense, that opens up a lot of opportunities. Just a quick throw by Eccles in that case. Eccles keeps it for the first time tonight and runs for first down for the Hilltoppers, tackled by Deshaun Stevens. First and 10 play action for Eccles, and he connects with Jernigan for first down. A nice move for Jernigan as he takes it up to midfield before he stopped by Manny Patterson. It's fair to say they're not accustomed to this. <laughs> Eccles. On the move, those near side incomplete, looking for his tight end, D. 21 to zero lead for the Hilltoppers, main second and five, and Ferguson floats one incomplete, nobody home, just air mailed it at the 45. Eccles gets rid of it quickly. He's got his running back, LaFrance, a short pickup, it's fourth down. Quick screen out and Again, five, right at five on first down. Glad to see this guy carrying the football back in the game. Young might have got grabbed by the face mask. A flag is thrown. Young is stopped at the 16. What they do here. 
Another handoff to Fitzpatrick, leaps in the air, flips for the first down. He got hit by Masai White. Man coming off the dominating win against New Hampshire last week, 35 to seven. Jefferson with a nice move and a lot of room down the near sideline. Jefferson at the five. Does he stay in in the end zone? The officials get together. Still no signal yet. The pie line is knocked down. A lot of played before him. And finally now he's getting his opportunity. He's making the most of it tonight. Here's the freshman Garland on the jet sweep and Garland runs for 11 to move the sticks for West Kentucky as he was brought down by Deshaun Stevens. And on the jet sweep the sweep the play before. We've got to give those big guys in the O-line credit. Another first down catch by the tight end, Mike Wan Dean. It's a new quarterback in as well for the Hilltoppers here. On the run, up the middle, getting close to the first down. First career carry for Kavarius Thomas. That's Jackson in motion. And Eccles, this time in trouble, and down he goes all the way back at the 40. Maine has done just that. Ferguson will try to tuck it and run, and he will not escape the arms. May only be able to go to about two progressions. On third and 14, looking for Wright, and Wright can't locate the football, it looks like. It's incomplete. Miss then, and that's the difference between third and six and third and short. Go back on the ground to LaFrance, this time Maine ready for it to force a fourth down. They have Jernigan down below nearest us. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage near the numbers. On fourth and five, Eccles to his tailback. LaFrance, he's hit immediately by Mozai Nelson. You've got reasonably good field position. You should try and advance the ball, throw the ball relatively deep here and see if you can't improve that. Play action for Ferguson, looking for his tight end, and he puts it on Julian Dunn, who rumbles his way inside the 30. Ferguson looking for Wright, and Wright has a step on him and hauls it in for the touchdown. The first catch of the night for Micah Wright in Maine. An extra point away from making this a touchdown deficit and they've been defending better against the bigger wide receivers. Play action for Eccles all the time in the world. Now he's under pressure and Eccles is somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. That was Sterling Sheffield. But you just gotta be so susceptible to the big play and the deep ball from Western Kentucky. Second and 10, swings it out to LaFrance. LaFrance with room as he attains the first down for the Hilltopper. He picks up about 13 yards. Thought he was gonna get back into kind of a linebacker situation. He's gonna fake the rush here. Let's see what he does. Eccles steps up in the pocket. Now just dumps it down to Furby as running back and Furby moves forward for a gain of 11 for first down. The clock stops with 43 seconds. There's still a long ways out from any field goal opportunity. Hilltoppers one for five tonight on third down. Eccles on the rollout, throws on the move over the head of Lucky Jackson. It's a good point because with all the misdirection and reverses that we saw last week, you'd think they would find a way to get Ernest to football. Here's a throw and a sliding catch is made by Jaquan Blair. And from the spot, this is good for a first down and a unique formation here. Here comes Belcher is gonna take the snap, the former quarterback. Here's a quick hitter to Blair and the Hilltoppers all over it. There's Jackson in motion. Two touchdowns in the first quarter. Eccles loses the football and it's picked up by Deshaun Stevens and Stevens will scoop and score in Maine with a huge play here, an extra point away from tying the game at 21. And whether you're a fifth year senior or a freshman, pressure on you, the quarterback, defensively coming from a number of different angles is always problematic. On the return across the 15, and again the ball pops out. Still loose around the 17, and it looks like Western Kentucky does recover. Help me, help me, help me, help me. 
pressure again as Eccles hits as he throws, completes it to Xavier in lane. Both teams have had a possession here in the second half and done nothing with it. Ferguson being pressured by Sainer gets rid of it and completes on their own 21. Eccles trying yeah, to get out yeah. of trouble and Sheffield wraps him up and brings him down back at the 12. Yeah, and that Stevens on the twist. Did you see the play? Maybe a theme into the fourth quarter as well. Who does Ferguson go to with Ernest Edwards out? Dials one up for Devin Young and overshoots him incomplete. Even have him go the deep ball again on the longer side of the field. Third and two, West Kentucky on the ground, and this He's will pin on the spots. He's short. The line judge is going to come to the 15. You need to. I, I, I wholeheartedly think right here, you must score six if this, you're main. This was an area where the Black Bears were very effective last week, and they go to Micah Wright for the touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown pass, Ferguson to Wright, and for the first time tonight, Maine takes the lead. To go to the payday games, this being one of them, and you have to try and work that schedule as best you can, plus they've got to go to William and & Mary and Richmond. LaFrance on the return. LaFrance across the 30, stopped at the 31. Third and three, Hilltoppers tonight just one for 10. Eccles to the sideline, diving catch made by Jackson right at the first down marker, and they will move the sticks. It's third and six, DeAndre Furby in the backfield. He's the third down back. Eccles being pressured, and down he goes again. Sheffield, one of the first ones there, along with Hayward. Ferguson rolling out to the right, being pursued from behind. Now he will try to tuck it and run as he's tripped up from behind. Jackson in motion. Eccles on the move. Hit as he throws. Incomplete. Fourth down tonight. Just one for 11. Play action, Ferguson wide open. He's got his tight end, Drew Belcher. Belcher rumbles his way up to the 42 before he's stopped by Darden. Oh, Ernest Edwards. Micah Wright has been the go-to target tonight for Ferguson. Ferguson this time in traffic over the middle, broken up, incomplete. That was a defensive end, D'Angelo Malone. On the first play of the fourth quarter, West Kentucky with more yards than they had the entire third quarter. That's a cramp for Walsh, too. Eccles being pressured, and he just gets clobbered in the backfield by the linebacker to Sean Stevens. Eccles this time with a clean pocket, finds his tight end, Dean, and Dean. Spins forward to about the 19. He was tackled by Darius Hartz. It's Patrick in the backfield. It's the third handoff in a row and a big hole up the middle for Fitzpatrick before he spun down at the 24. Right in Cray at the bottom of your screen. Watch that. Ferguson looking for Blair. It's incomplete. Appears to have the wind at his back ever so slightly. Snap is down, kick is up, has plenty of leg, and it's good. Crucial, crucial. Drew Eccles goes back to work, wide open. He's got LaFrance, and a lot of room for LaFrance, and he's gone. 75 yards for LaFrance, and that's what Western Kentucky needs. Still tons of time left in this ballgame. Fitzpatrick lowers his head, picks up the first down for Maine. Play action, looking for the tight end. It's caught by Dunn for the first down. Has been Micah Wright with the two touchdown grabs. Play it's action done. again for Ferguson. He's going for his tight end, Belcher, and overshoots him incomplete. Toppers go on the ground. Some room for LaFrance to work with, who's been electric tonight. Eccles tonight, he's completed a pass to seven different receivers. 
Climbs the pocket. Now he will take off and run and slides. Picks up a gain of six. Two tight end formation. Eccles finds Fortenberry, his first catch of the game. Fortenberry rumbles his way into main territory. Stopped at the 35 by Sterling Sheffield. Career long of 44. Still a ways away from getting there. Eccles, a high throw, incomplete over the head of Xavier Lane. This is the incomplete pass, which stops the clock. Third and 12, Eccles, a lot of room on the backside here. Now we'll try to take off. Eccles avoids one defender before he works his way to the 31. That was Manny Patterson with a stop. It's a high snap, and the kick is blocked. And Maine will recover it at the 48. Unbelievable. That's why you play the game. There's so many nuances to the game, but I can tell you, as I preached about here in the second half, the kicking game is so crucial in college football, and it came to fruition tonight. Really good football game. It was like three football games all in one, really.